Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BTD and welcome to something a little bit more different from Minecraft and Fortnite. So as some of you guys know, I do a lot of racing things. I like racing a lot and especially just cars in general. Now, a new game has just been announced of Formula 1 2018. You would have seen me play it 2017 a couple times on the channel. Uh, don't really know when, but I definitely did. And I just wanted to cover today all the things that could possibly be happening, all the things that have been confirmed, and everything that is still to come. So let's get straight into this video. So the first thing I wanted to discuss was the release date. The release date is going to be the 24th of August, F1 2017 being released, seeing as that was released on the 23rd. Now this will be released just after the Belgian Grand Prix in August, and I don't know why they picked that time, but it's more going back to like the times they used to do, like back on F1 20. 10 and 11 but it was with September time when they were releasing their video so maybe they're trying to push that back year by year or they just wanted a bit more time to be able to develop the game a bit more I'm not too sure but strangely when it comes to this game nobody has been called to test the game uh, if you went back to 2017 the game uh, you would have seen people like Tim McMarduk, Arava, X Matty G they all went over to test out the F1 2017 game give their feedback on what things need to be done and everything like that and yeah this year nothing's been happening they haven't heard anything because I think anybody else has so is this going to be one of those games where it flops because they didn't ask for help or will it be a game where it really boosts up from F1 2017 so what I thought I'd do guys I'll have a quick little read through the press release that was given out today on all the new things that are still to come so Paul Jean uh, F1 franchise director at Codemaster said we can't wait to reveal more news on what's to come but in the meantime, we've got all we've got all the headline information on today's announcement. We were delighted by the reception that the highly acclaimed F1 2017 game received and are extremely excited to be able to further build on such a strong starting point of F1 2018, he said. But one bit out of all of this I really wanted to touch on was where he said, career mode has been further expanded to immerse players even deeper into the world of Formula 1 than before, with the return of a highly requested feature back into the franchise. Now with that, does that mean interviews are coming back to Formula 1 2018, seeing as the slogan that they are using for the game is make headlines in F1 2018. Now this is actually something that would be really good if they do bring it back, because that's something that everybody wanted to come into the game, seeing as we wanted a bit more freedom to do things in the game. But yeah guys, just a little short little video just to um, sort of catch everybody up with F1 and see what things are going on. Um, we still haven't had any screenshots, gameplay, news or even any updates on the game but apparently that is meant to come very very shortly. But I can't give you any more information other than what I've given you today so make sure you stick around for any more information that is to come on the new game. I'll be making sure to make videos on it but yeah that's all I have for today guys so until next time I'll see you guys then but until then peace. We are lost.